Today I'm gonna to be doing an amazing transformation. We're taking somebody from dark brown to platinum blonde. Make sure to stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an amazing transformation. We're taking somebody from dark brown with a little bit of blonde and some color in there, a full on color correction to platinum blonde. So if that's something that you wanna learn, make sure to stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so this is our starting canvas. You guys can see she's got a lot of depth in there. We have her kind of natural virgin color with some gray and then these kind of lighter mid lengths in here. That's where she had done a root color before to cover her gray. So that's permanent color in there. And then we also have some of these blonde ends which we have previously lightened. So we have a lot of different kind of sections that we're gonna be lightening and I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how to do that. But this is gonna be a really fun transformation. All right, so I'm gonna mix up two different formulas. I'm gonna have one for her darker hair and then one for those kind of blonde ends. So I'm gonna start out with 15 volume and then I'm gonna go into a five volume just on her ends. And we're gonna make sure we use a lot of Olaplex in her formula today. Um, definitely making sure to ensure the health of her hair as we're doing this process. But yeah, so we're gonna do 10 and 20 in one and then a little bit of like 10 volume with a little bit more Olaplex to create five volume. All right, so this is our sectioning. I sectioned the front from the back and then I also did the back section. I did it in half and then kind of in half from there just because she's got a lot of hair so we're gonna work with it. But we're gonna do one full quadrant and then we'll work to the other side so then we'll go to the front. All right, so we're gonna start here in the nape and then we're gonna work our way up. And what I'm gonna do, because we're doing a platinum card, I'm going to leave the lightener off her roots because if we put the lightener all the way up to her roots, what's gonna happen is this is gonna lift really quickly because it's already, it's close to her head. So the heat from her head's gonna process it quickly. So we're just gonna leave it about half an inch from the roots. So I am using the Framar foils and I love these foils because they keep it nice and clean and they're pop-up foils so they're easy to grab. Um, obviously I have an assistant, but it's just kind of nice to start with something that's a bit easier. So like I said, I'm gonna keep it about half an inch off her root and we're gonna kind of go back in and we're gonna do a second process here. So this is my 15 volume and uh, I'm just gonna fold it up like this and then we're gonna lock it into place. And the thing is we wanna keep these foils as flat as possible because we're gonna be doing a lot of them. So that's why I like to fold them long ways so that as we work up the head versus folding them this way, it would just get too bunched in there. So we're gonna fold them long ways. We finished the two back sections. Now we're gonna move over to the side and I actually sectioned out her bangs and I did like a little braid um, just so that it's uh, out of the way because that section would have been really wide to do in a foil and I don't wanna have any bleeds or anything like that. So just sectioned out her bangs so that this section can be about this thick so that we can fold it on the both sides and keep it nice and tight. And so we're gonna start here on the side and then we'll work our way up. We'll do the other side and then we'll finish with the bangs last. So with her, she's got some highlights that are in here, so we're gonna just be really gentle and try to pick them out so that we're not over lightening her really blonde, blonde hair, because this is actually a pretty blonde and we don't really need to lighten that. So we're just gonna kind of get that out of the way and lighten everything else around it. This one I am gonna fold in a third just because it is a smaller foil, smaller baby hairs. I wanna lock it into place better. Cool, and we'll continue all the way up the head. All right, so we just finished our foiling application. Look how many foils we got in there. It's like so satisfying, right you guys? So we rinsed the section that was ready to go and uh, we put Olaplex number two in it while she's just hanging out while we're waiting for these pieces to lift up. So one thing to note with this technique is you definitely wanna rinse sections when they are ready because otherwise you could over process it. So we're probably gonna pull through a little bit more um, lightener through kind of this mid area. You guys can see that, but she got some pretty good lightness kind of right in there. So I'm excited about it. All right, so this is after we pulled out all the foils, we rinsed, shampooed her and uh, just kind of 
fast blow dried her. You guys can see she's got a little bit of damage kind of in the ends here, but that's okay. We kind of knew that going into it from the previous blonde. She's gonna end up cutting that off anyways, so we're not too concerned about it. But this hair actually feels really healthy, it feels pretty strong. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply her roots, and I'm actually gonna pull through a little bit of lightener, kind of through these mid lengths just to brighten it up a little bit more. She looks pretty good here. Obviously the ends are good, but we're just gonna kind of brighten up some of these, so let's get started. All right, so I'm just kind of going into her hair quadrant by quadrant. I'm applying her roots first, and then like I said, we'll go back through and pull it in. So if you're wondering why I'm not separating with cotton or anything like that, um, it's because I'm gonna pull it through. It doesn't really matter at this point, so I'm not really too stressed about it. I still am keeping my sections clean as much as I can, um, but you know, I don't need to separate with cotton and all of that jazz if I'm just gonna go back and pull it through. Now, if she was a root retouch and this is all we were doing, then yeah, I might do some cotton um, or something to, you know, just keep it from overlapping, but again, not stressing it too much. And on her roots, we're using 25 volume with Olaplex. And then when we pull through, we're gonna do something definitely lower. But you guys can see, like, this has already got some nice lift. We need to just kind of lift this tiny bit a little bit. And this is where her previous permanent color was. So we'll just kind of pull it through, but definitely with something really low volume. And at this point, I, again, I'd rather go low and slow versus trying to do something fast and just bleach it out. Um, that's when you get damage. One other thing that I like to do too is I always like to start in the bottom of the hair. So I already did this bottom quadrant, so you guys can see I'm gonna catch up to it. But I always like to start in the bottom because again, if you need to rinse the hair or anything, you started in the bottom, that's just always a smart idea. Um, also, if it were to break off, it's gonna break off in the bottom. So that's always just a good idea, good rule of thumb, something I think they teach you in beauty school. Um, but I always like to start kind of in that bottom section. You guys can see I'm kind of reaching back up to here and then I will go back through my sections because you guys can see there's like some depth right there and just kind of resaturate, reapply, and make sure that it's super saturated. All right, so we applied lightener all the way through her ends. I did 15 volume with Olaplex. And you guys can see I'm just kind of like pulling through. Now the biggest thing is you want to make sure that you open up the hair to make sure that you're not missing any hair in there um, to make sure that it's uh, fully saturated because a lot of times when you're pulling bleach through, you can miss spots and you definitely don't want to do that. So just make sure that you're constantly like opening the hair and making sure to check it that you got it all so you don't end up with warm spots. Um, and then just constantly be resaturating and keeping an eye on it, keeping um, an eye to see if it's still strong and that it's still there. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we'll rinse her out. All right, so I'm gonna mix up her toner formula and I decided to do 9V, 9T, and 9P, all equal parts. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of crystal clear because I feel like for this first toner formula, I might even do two toners. I just wanna make sure it's not too dark. So crystal clear is just a good way to dilute it and to ensure that it doesn't pull too much on her. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit in here. Um, and I kinda eyeball it, but I'm gonna do you know a third of each formula and then uh, crystal clear. So I am applying her toner. You guys can see I've applied it kind of to the bottom half of her hair. I always start at the bottom with my toners just in case it starts to grab too much or I need to rinse it out or something. So I always start kind of in the bottom, have my clients lift their heads up, and then I work my way forward. So this is just a really great way to apply your toners. Um, but the thing with this kind of toner is you just want to get it on fast and get it working. Okay, so our second toner is 9P with clear. So I did equal parts 9P and equal parts clear. All right, so after I did toner number one, I did a second toner, and then this is our third toner. You guys, I said I was probably gonna use quite a few formulas, but what I did, I went through and kind of shadowed her root with 9N and 9P, and uh, no clear, just 9N, 9P equal parts, and this is gonna help kind of bring it out some a little bit of depth in her root, but just get rid of that like hot root look that you get 
after freshly bleaching somebody's hair. So I pulled it through, we let it sit in for just a few minutes and we're getting ready to wash it. Our final toner I did was 9P and 9N with the thicker developer. And the reason why I used that developer was because I just wanted to tap it on her roots. I didn't want it to drag down. So we used that, we tapped it on her roots, pulled it through some of her ends. Um, but yeah, this is a great formula and I didn't dilute that with clear, just 9P and 9N equal parts. All right, and this is our final result. You guys, it took so much time, but we got there. Look at that beautiful, soft blonde. It's like silvery, but white, but not. And you guys, look at that. There's like dimension in the hair, but we did an entire platinum. So that's the cool thing about toners and keeping the health of the hair. You can still see dimension in there. There's still a little tiny bit of depth at that root and uh, that toner formula is where it's at. So definitely try that out. I'm so stoked at how it turned out. I love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this YouTube video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I do tons of videos like this, tutorials, business advice, anything that I use in the salon, including formulas. It's a good time. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And if you enjoyed this video, head over to Instagram and let me know. Send me a DM, leave me a comment. I love knowing how these videos help you. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.